what I want to start off with saying on the Jubilee, folks, I want to make up some points that I've already made. So this is for those of you who said that I've already heard this, fine. There's people who are going to watch this video who haven't heard this, okay? So bear with me. Do it for them. Listen, listen, allow it, allow me to get to them who haven't heard this stuff. I'll also put a Jubilee, the Jubilee video that I did in September 2018 will be right there on the corner of your screen, the upper right-hand corner of your screen. And that was a video that I did in 2018. I had the message in 2017, but my channel was dark. So I had to wait. I think it's like the second or third video that I did when I re got the channel going again in 2018. I, I needed you guys to hear this. So here we go. But watch that video, please. If you guys haven't seen the Jubilee, watch it. It explains a lot of things I won't get to here. Here's what you have heard. I don't believe, for instance, where the Balfour Declaration was in November of, of two, I'm sorry, 1917, where it was the opportunity to where the Jews began migrating back home. That's when they began their migration, folks. They left where they were from all over the world and they were able to come back home. Nor in 1967 were the Jews, literally Israel, had to go out and go, had to, or they had lost their homes. They had lost what they had. They, it was mandatory. They had to go out and fight. And they gained Jerusalem in the Six-Day War of June. Interesting, it was a Six-Day War. God even ended that in time for a Sabbath. Interesting how God is. And everybody agrees that God, that God orchestrated that war. God orchestrated the Balfour Declaration. My problem with that, and here's where I'm going to become adamant with, folks. I need you to understand. Here, here's the way it goes. A, a Sabbath year, there, let's, let me take a step back. They're in a Jubilee cycle, which many of you already understand this. In a Jubilee cycle, there are seven seven-year periods. Seven, seven-year periods. At the end of each one of these seven-year periods is a Sabbath. And you're all aware of this. And on the Sabbath, every man was supposed to stay in his place. Same thing. All, every one of the seventh, seventh, seven-year periods. Okay? So, again, like I said, on the seventh year of every seven-year period, you are to stay in your place the whole year. You don't do any work. You stay in your place the way it reads. It's so it's so important to God that if you disobeyed it, you would be put to death. Now I don't. We don't think that way anymore. But that's that's the way it was, folks. You'd be put to death if you did any work. You're banished from your people. Pretty serious, at least in the mind of God. How about that? While we may not take it seriously, and I suggest you do. If you understand it's that important to God, it should be important to us. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He doesn't change just because we don't go around killing people because they're not working or rather not staying in their house and, and, and they get out and go work and they, they disobey. Doesn't mean it, it's lessened in the mind of God on how he views it. He's the same. Now, the 49th year is a sabbatical year. You get to, to the 50th. It is an amplification of the 49th. One minister likened it to... to, to uh, a, a sabbatical year on steroids. It is an amplification of it. you. Again, you do not work in that 50th year, just like you don't work in the 49th year. In fact, in the 48th year, I'll put the scripture down below. It was a 14th verse. I may be wrong. Maybe 13. It doesn't matter. It's in the 25th chapter of Leviticus. God gave, God gave three years worth of crops in the 48th year. Okay. So you didn't have to do any work for three years the 48th the 49th and the 50th you're not supposed to work it's the same thing the benefit though is, is why everybody is saying 1917 and 1967 were, were jubilees is because they're getting back their possessions Jews got to mag migrate back home Jews got to get Jerusalem back in 1967 yeah it's jubilee related events but is God really going to contradict something that is so important to him that if you disobeyed it, you're going to be put to death? He's going to actually tempt you. And God tempts no man, folks. Listen to me. He's not going to cause if he wants you to observe the entire year of the 49th and the 50th, if he wants you to take up the whole year, not 10% of it, not 20, 30, 50, whatever, the whole year is to be observed and consecrated. 
What's he, what is he doing instigating that they begin migration in the middle of a jubilee year or even in a sabbatical year? That's contradictory. Now, I know people are contradictory. I know they're double-minded, but I'm going to tell you, my God is not double-minded, nor is he going to contradict his own will. Therein is where I have the problem. If he wants you in your house, he's not going to instigate it, and actually, even in the Six-Day War, make it mandatory to where you actually have to leave your house to fight and keep that which you've got, or you lose it all. It doesn't make any sense, folks. Like I said in the, in the show I did last, that I uploaded yesterday, if I'm paying you for the whole year, I'm sorry, for the whole day, and I had a company, I'd pay my employees to be in the, in, in the job the whole entire day, every day that they were supposed to be at work. I didn't want them coming and going as they pleased, getting up and leaving and going. If I'm wanting them there the whole day, then that's what I'm paying them for. I expect them to be there for the hours that they were hired for. Same thing with God. And like I said in the show, you think God had enough sense if he wants you in your house the whole, the whole year or in your place is the way it reads in Scripture in Exodus and in Leviticus. <clears throat> that he's actually going to provoke you to where you actually leave your house if his will is for you to stay. That's contradictory. That makes no sense. And I know my God is not contradictory. Now, what I want to, to, to drive home even farther, because as this person that was on, <clears throat> oops, Excuse me. I'm not going to edit anything, guys. I'm just going with this. Not, you're not going to get fancy graphics either because that's where I'm about to take this. There's a man who was on a show, let me say that, just on a show, who, who's saying God is a God of cycles. And he is. He's a God of cycles, dates, everything. That's our God. In a Jubilee cycle, again, as I said, there are seven seven-year periods, folks. Stay with me for a moment here. I showed you in the 69 weeks, the 70 weeks, how they're not a 490 year period. I've shown you this, okay? The 69 weeks, a jubilee cycle, a 50 year period, taking you to the 70th week, right? Correct? If you, if you understand this in your head, that it's a whole jubilee cycle, and then you got the ending of the cycle, and then you got your 70th week, 69 takes you to 70th. Jubilee cycle takes you to 70th, folks. We got a God of cycles. I, I, I'm going to ask you some simple questions. Now, start rationalizing this out in your head. As I said in the Jubilee vid video, where in the world would you put the 70th week, right? Folks, it's the end of all things as we know it, the 70th week. This is the end of the age, the end of age of grace. Everything ends and we go into the millennium, right? The no-brainer part, just the no-brainer without even understanding the 69 weeks takes you to 70, that is the Jubilee cycle taking the 70th week, ending the cycle until we go into the next week. I told you in the Jubilee video, I said, I would look for the 70th week of my graphics. So you got your 50-year cycle. You're either going to look at the ending of, end, at the ending of a 50-year cycle or you're going to look for it at, at the beginning of the next cycle. That's where you'd look at it. You're not going to look at it anywhere else in the middle of a Jubilee cycle, folks. You're not... You're not gonna, it's not going to be any one of these seven, seven-year periods. That's the 70th week. I've shown you. I know some people say there's not even a seven-year period in the Bible. The 70th week is a seven-year period. It's even in Revelation. You folks really need to watch this channel and some of the videos that are there. It's a seven-year period. It's not going to be happening. The end of all things, as we know it, isn't going to happen in the middle of a cycle, of a jubilee cycle any one of these 70 periods. Let's get that out there right now, okay? That's that's not in the middle of a jubilee cycle are you going to see the beginning of the millennium. That's nuts. And the 69 weeks show you this. The ending of a cycle, you got your 70 weeks. But listen to me on this. Here's where it gets even a little crazy. Let's take even a farther step back, folks. Listen. Listen to this. If we're talking a seven-year period, and that's what the 70th week is, Watching my time, I got so much time here too. By the way, you've got a seven-year period. The man who's on TV—I don't want to name names or anything. He's a good man, but he's not. He's not thinking about the contradictions. God is a God of cycles. Where are you going to lay this seven-year period? He says, if if the Jubilee, these are the 1867, 1917, 1967, 2017. 
and ended in 2018 was the ending of the last 50-year cycle, according to him, if I understand correctly what, what he's saying. 2018 ended the cycle. Ended the cycle, folks. Ended the last 50 years. Okay, We're now on a new cycle. And any year now, according to what I, if I am understanding correctly, we're now in the, so here's your 50th year. We're now in the middle of the next seven years. Okay, it's lovely graphics. <laughs> seven years is right there, okay? We are now, I think if 2018 ended the, the, the cycle, we are now in here, about the second year, 2019, we're about to go to 2020. So yeah, we're basically the second year into the seven year cycle that we're already in. And any year now, I can ask it to relate to Trump, supposedly, we're going to start the seven year, the final seven year period, like about year three or year four or five or wherever. I'm going to tell you right now, folks, God isn't going to take the final seven years and start it in the middle of an existing cycle. It's not, it's going to start here. If we've entered the Jubilee, the final seven years will, will at least start at the beginning of a seven year cycle. Did you hear what I said? This final seven years will, will line up directly right on top of an, an existing seven year cycle. It's not going to start in the middle of it anywhere. God's a God of cycles, just as he said. He's not going to start at the final 70th week in the middle of an existing seven year cycle. And if we've entered the Jubilee, the only place you could see it, if, if you ignore everything else I've said, the only place you could see it would be the ending of, of, of the seven-year cycle we're supposedly already in. We'd have it here. But don't ignore everything I've said because it's not going to start seven years in or 14 years in or 21 years or 28 or whatever years in. No, 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 no. It'll be the final seven years, just, just, just putting, you know, get your brains off the shelf, folks. It'll be either the final seven years of a Jubilee or the beginning of a new cycle. And I've shown you why it's the beginning of a new cycle according to the 69 weeks. Now, again, just because you believe 2017 and 1967 and 1917 and so forth is a Jubilee year, isn't going to cause you to lose your salvation. But it's wrong thinking that God is going to start any, any year now, the final seven years, in the middle of one of these cycles, and in the middle of a seven-year cycle. I don't care which cycle you're picking, but I'm going to tell you this. The end of all things, folks, the end of the age of grace is not going to start unless it starts the beginning of the 50th year. The, I mean, the ending of the 50th year of the cycle. There's where you're going to get your final seven-year period. That's where you're going to get your, that's when you get your seven the 70th week. It's not going to be in the middle of a cycle of a whole. Other than that, folks, if, if, and if we are year two into it and, and the Jubilee ended 2018 and we haven't seen the 70th week, you, we've got another 50 years to go before you see your, your 70th cycle or your, seven, your 70th week. That's the way it is. Now, I know some of you don't want to hear that, but I need you to take a step back and understand God doesn't contradict himself. I'm telling you 1917, 67 and 2017 were not jubilee years. We've not exited the last cycle yet. Don't let anybody tell you that this year, the 70th week will open. Bad things happen every year, folks. Oh, there might be a precursor here come this. You know, we're entering the fall season. You got you know, your hurricanes and all that other stuff. Somebody may be stupid. You can look for precursors. But the week is not opening this year. It opens up in Nissan if you folks have followed this channel well enough. Don't be fooled. No. For some of you, I want you to know, I'm not going to be uploading. And my wife and my, my, my daughter agree with this. In fact, they are saying, I don't know why you're even doing it. Why I'm uploading shows onto YouTube. Folks, I've had a problem with some, with some of the audience that is here. There's a lot of good people on this side, a lot of good people that love God with all their heart. Bless all your souls. But on this side, to the farther you go, you run into pigs and swine. And God says throughout the Gospels, if they don't receive you, you're to wipe the dust off your feet as a testament unto them. You don't cast your pearls before swine, folks. There are things, like I say, I can say here 
that I can't see on TV. But I'm but the the fifth show that's going to be up up uh, has to be seen on CTN. I want to get to that in a second. I'm not. I knew I wasn't going to put it here on YouTube. I'm going to reveal things of Daniel that I never have done in the book. I've hinted to them in the book. I've hinted to it here. I talk to people about it in emails. But the fifth show, I'm going to open up Daniel in the way I've never opened up before. It doesn't belong here. And I'm sorry. That's just the audience. You guys really need to get WHT if you have a World Harvest Television. Get If you don't have that, if some of you have DISH or, or DirecTV, you'll be able to get CTN. We're now going to be on CTN, the main CTN network. CTN's on a lot of cable channels and whatnot. We'll be on every Friday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It'll be four shows from now. A month from now before you see the show, the, 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 the fifth show I'm talking about that I'm not going to upload. Last thing I want you guys to be aware of. Oh, by the way, CTN Local, we're on too. People in Colorado, 9.30 Sundays. I'll put the stations down below so you guys can watch it. You guys that are in Colorado. There's people with some in Denver, Pueblo, Colorado Springs. You'll have these stations. You'll be able to get us. Keep us in prayer, please. Until next time, take care and God bless.